It came amid reports that space debris were heading towards the space station. They are said to have narrowly missed the ISS, but experts warned they could reapproach between 1144 to 1154. When the news broke, ground control in Russia and the U.S. appeared to fear for the worst as they ordered their crew to hide inside their spaceships. A flight controller in Houston said during a live stream on NASA's website that the ISS crews, consisting of Russians and Americans, fled to docked spaceships to camp out from the crash. Space enthusiast Liam Kennedy commented on Twitter, ISS crew told to hide due to threat of space debris. But while Russian cosmonauts Anton Shkapelrov and Pyotr Dubrov quickly fled to the Soyuz MS-19, stuck with them too was said to be NASA astronaut Mark Vandhey. The rest of the U.S. crew, including Raja Chari, Thomas Marshburn, Kayla Barron and Germany's Matthias Maurer fled to the Crew Dragon spacecraft. The news comes after part of a Chinese satellite whizzed past the space station in a near-miss on Wednesday. The ISS reportedly swerved away from the lump of debris to avoid a collision with piece of the Chinese weather satellite destroyed in a weapons test in 2007. The Chinese FENGYUN-1C satellite was due to zoom past the ISS at a distance of about 600 meters in the early hours of November 12, and the ISS orbit was elevated by 1,200 meters in that connection. This did not catch the crew completely off guard, as they were given two days to prepare for the collision, but today the alarm was sounded too late and astronauts were forced to take emergency measures. Ian Benekin posted on Twitter, Next space debris cloud TCA, time of closest approach, will be between 11.44 and 11.54 coordinated universal time. The hatches to all radial modules stay closed for today and will only be opened on request between the TCAs. Roscosmos, the Russian state organization responsible for space flights, said, the guidelines say that the crew should stay on a ship at the approaching moment in the event of the ISS approach by a potentially dangerous object. 